This just might be my new favorite pair of gaming headphones. It's from a brand that until now I've never even heard of. And now that I have heard of them, I'm very excited to see what all else that they make. I mean, I know they make headphones and uh, PC peripherals, but this headphone right here, this one blew me away. This is the Exa Star Engine E5000 Pro gaming headphone. And this thing is absolutely freaking amazing. In this video, we're going to be reviewing it, diving into it, and so much more. Let's get into it. This wasn't written with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision, wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it, you can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I top my division, I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but this is a different kind of lucha party. We are not alike. Before we dive into this review, I want to give a huge shout out and mahalo to exa for providing the review unit for the star engine e5000 pro gaming headphone this thing has a lot going for it i love the fit and feel of it i love the versatility of it it basically if i were to compare it to another gaming headphone that's on the market i would compare it more than likely to any of the higher end uh, razor headphones that are out just because it's so similar in the fit and feel and just the comfort level this is an incredibly comfortable pair of headphones and you know it, it has a lot of versatility that i'm shocked that headphones that cost two to three times this don't have at all and it's just it's kind of mind-blowing no it's not a wireless pair of headphones but it's still really amazing we're gonna dive into all of that in this review and so much more before we do all that general reminder to make sure you like the video if you enjoy the content that i put out as well as sub to the channel and ding the notification bell and if you want to support the content further we do have patreon as well as channel memberships links for everything is going to be in the description down below and on top of that we do have merch over on teespring and Public. so if you want to check out any of the cool swag we got go check us out over there all that being said, I'm ready to just dive into this review of this headset because this is, man, this is, this is the headphone, the beat right now. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to talk about that so much more in this video review. Let's get into it. Now, the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to the Exa Star Engine E5000 Pro, I'm just going to call this the Exa E, I don't know, the Exa headphone. I'm just going to call it that because that, that name is very long, but yeah, the first thing when it comes to this headphone is just the comfortability of this fit and feel. Fits on the head very easily. Like this thing, I don't ever have that feeling of, you know, like the compression or, or clamping. It just fits. I don't have to worry about it like coming off my head. Like I can shake my head and it's still going to stay in place. And I like that it does have the, you know, it's not a whole lot you can do as far as like adjusting the headband. It's still a good amount. I like the tension that's in it. I like the flexibility. Like you can bend this as you want. You know, I can, these are durable. When you think of like uh, companies that are not mainstream, I'm just, I'm not going to say this is like a, a knockoff company or anything like that because they're not, their products are really like, if we're going, if this is anything to judge by, their products are really, really good. But for a, a non-mainstream company making a gaming headset, this is really well made. Like I said, anyway, bendability, you know, like just the durability of this. I love the way the headband feels. It's very comfortable when I place it on my head. Like I'm bald, y'all, you, you guys know this, I'm bald. But you know, when I put it on my head, I don't feel like it's just like digging into it. Most other gaming headphones, you know, that material starts to irritate my scalp after a while, but it doesn't at all. It fits really comfortably, feels really good. And what I also like about it, it does have buttons on it. So you can mute the microphone. You can do the volume up and down toggle. You also have a button that when you press it, you can turn on the 7.1 surround sound, which actually works. You know, most of the times when you think of 7.1 surround sound, when it comes to gaming headphones, typically a lot of them don't really have that in them. It's kind of like a, it's marketed as being part of it, but it's not true 7.1 surround sound. But this actually has 7.1 surround sound in it, and it's it, it sounds really, really good. 
So like when I was playing games like uh, Halo and Call of Duty, when I was playing Battlefield, I'm hearing, I'm literally hearing everything that's going around me, bullets whizzing by, like footsteps approaching from behind me. And it really gave me that competitive edge to, well, that on top of my gaming skills, it gave me that competitive edge to be able to keep my win streak going. And it's just something like, I just love the feel of this. Like this is such a premium feeling device. Like it doesn't at all feel cheap. And I've, I've, I've dealt with, as you guys know, I've dealt with a lot of gaming headphones that, you know, they feel like cheap plastic, but nothing on this feels cheap at all. Like this is a sturdy, you know, aluminum metal build, which really just blows me away. And it fits comfortably. Like if I just put it on my neck like this, it fits very comfortably and I can't complain about it. The cushions, they utilize memory foam cushions. So like when I put them on, it just contours to my ears. And, and I also feel like there's like a cooling factor in it too, because as they're sitting on my ears, my ears don't get hot. And oftentimes like I have my air conditioner going and, you know, I, just to keep it because I'm in Hawaii, it's always, I mean, you have three types of temperatures in Hawaii, hot, hot, and hot as hell. And regardless of the temperature, these stay cool on my ear and I, I can't complain about it. You know, I don't have to worry about like, and you guys know, I don't like pleather and I really hate pleather, <laughs> but the pleather on this is actually really good. And, you know, typically pleather starts to like wear out out here just because, you know, it'll start cracking and all that. Sometimes you have to put like, uh, you know, a special oil line to keep it from doing all that. But this right here in the time that I've had it, there's no cracks on it, no creases. It just, it's comfortable. It's really comfortable. I like the fact too, that when it comes to the inline cables, right, you've got an inline cable that's a USB type C because the only input on this is USB type C, which is something that a lot of other gaming headsets just aren't doing. And I'm blown away that this company has decided to do that. But it's a USB type C to 3.5 millimeter. You also have a USB type C to USB type C that you can utilize to, you know, if you want to plug it into say your steam deck or, you know, your switch, if you don't want to use the 3.5 millimeter, I don't know why you wouldn't want to use 3.5 millimeter, but you know, in case you don't want to use that, it also has a, a female USB type C input into a male USB a, and basically what you can do is you can run that USB type C that goes into the headset into the USB type C female and run it out into your computer. And then that allows you to utilize not only the, you know, the lighting on the coloring on the side of the headphone, but also you're able to utilize the, the X uh, program that you can download from their site. And don't worry, it's not like any malware or anything suspicious. You just got to go to, you know, most of the stuff is going to be in, you know, in Chinese. But when you go to the website, you can download it and you can run the application. And then it gives you access to all the different sound profiles that you can utilize for like 7.1 surround sound. You know, if you want to have pop, you know, rock, if you want jazzy, if you want bass heavy, you can set all that up. You also have settings for stereo if in case you don't utilize the 7.1 surround sound. And you also have settings for the microphone. You know, you can turn on a noise reduction that's built into it. Now, I will say this about the microphone as far as like talking about any downsides that come with this headset. It's probably going to be the microphone. I'm going to let you guys hear the microphone itself as well as some of the tests that I perform because I had did a whole recording section just specifically for that. But if I were to say that there's any downside, it is the microphone that's on this gaming headset. And I want to say just in general, gaming microphone headsets just never sound good great to begin with they, they they always come up like an afterthought and i think the main reason is because i'm so used to xlr microphones and even usb microphones have gotten really really good to the point of being on par mm -hmm. with xlr microphones but the problem is with these gaming headsets the capsule is not going to compare to something like this and the the best Gaming headset microphone i've utilized has been off of one of the recent razor headphones and even that 
still doesn't compare to like a USB mic or any of the XLR microphones that I've used thus far. But I'm going to go ahead and switch over to there that way you guys can hear what it sounds like. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video and go from there. You're hearing audio now from the Exa Star Engine E5000 Pro Gaming Headset. Now this is what it sounds like with no additional filtering or tampering or anything like that. This is purely out of the box what it sounds like. Now one of the other things I want to showcase to you guys is the software that comes with it. And uh, the software here, you know, you got the 7.1 surround sound for game. You also have stereo sound, you know, and you also have your mic uh, modification, which is only, there's only one setting that you can really do for the mic modification which is environmental noise cancellation which is on by default when you initially plug this into your computer but um yeah so looking at the software here for the uh star engine e5000 so by default it's on extra standard and this is everything that uh it's going to be set as far as like the hertz and kilohertz and the decibels uh but you also have setting for moba you have one for FPS, you have one for deep bass, and then you have your custom uh, customization where you can change things up. You can even add additional modes to it if you want to. Um, completely up to you. You know, if these uh, initial three, initial four are not uh, to your liking. You can add additional ones to it. Uh, but we're going to stick with the EXA uh, standard for 7.1 surround sound. I'm going to go ahead and play the 7.1 surround. Um, hopefully you'll be able to hear it. If not, then hey, it kind of is what it is. But we're going to go ahead and play it. From left, center, front right, auxiliary right, back right, back left, auxiliary left. In that case, the gestures that I was doing is what it looks like for me looking directly head on. It's going to look different for you. But uh, as I'm hearing it, it's coming in all of those directions. So uh, that's something that's cool. That's what it sounds like in Exa Standard. I do think I like the Exa Standard best just because it sounds the most like fine-tuned to me for 7.1 surround sound. So, you know, I'm absolutely fine with it. So as far as like... Stereo sound, you've got a variety of options here. You've got the Exa Standard, you've got Classic, you've got Pop, you have Rock and Roll, Deep Bass, uh, Jazz, and you can customize it. So, yeah, if I'm going to be listening to music, I do a lot of listening to music when I'm doing a lot of editing. And so I would probably keep it on either Exa Standard or maybe, you know, Jazz or Deep Bass just because I listen to a lot of R&B and Pop. But, uh, yeah, I... I really like how this sounds. So one other thing that I do want to show you guys is when you're listening to audio, uh, if you've got the application open, then you'll be able to see like in this section right over here, right next to the, the graph, you'll be able to see the uh, equalization going. So let me just play some royalty free music that way you can see. You get to see and maybe hear also what it sounds like. So uh, I think it's really cool. The application for this is actually really neat. And actually, in my opinion, it's kind of better than a lot of the major brands. Like, I hate the software that comes with Razer, you know, gaming headsets and devices. And uh, this right here is lightweight and it's really simple and very intuitive to use. And I like that. Now that you've heard what it sounds like when I use the microphone on the headset, you've seen the software and all the different tests I've performed, we need to go ahead and give a final verdict of this headset. If you are in the market for a new gaming headset or just a new pair of cans in general, I say go ahead and get the Exa headphone. This right here, the Star Engine E5000 Pro, sounds amazing i love this i use this with my steam deck i use it with my switch i use it when i'm streaming it's 
really good. I even use this when I'm editing. And obviously when I'm editing, sometimes I want to go back to my professional level headphones, which is the V Moto Cross Phase M2. These are still some of the best headphones you can buy. As much as I love this and I love the other headphones I've covered, I always come back to the V Moto just because that is such a great headphone. This professional headphone for, you know, accuracy with audio reproduction. So when you're editing, listening to music, it's going to be the perfect headphone. But if you're looking for a gaming headset, I can't say anything is wrong with this. This right here is cool. If they can make a newer model that has not only a USB, you know, like wireless 2.4 gigahertz functionality into it, along with what it already has with the type C to like 3.5 millimeter and type C to type C, but also has Bluetooth in it. And I don't care if they charge a premium for it. I think this headset could rival anything that's on the market right now. You no, know, and that's including steel series. That's including rocket. I'm including, you know, uh, razor and, and others that are out there because this right here is that good. I'm really impressed with it, especially look at the, the etching here. Like the etching is really good with like the Exa logo and then you got the stitching on the top and bottom. This is such a premium looking device. I absolutely love it. Um, and I have nothing to complain about it other than, you know, the microphone is a part, but that's kind of what you should expect when it comes to gaming microphones. I mean, they shouldn't be your primary way of communicating. You should always have an audio interface with either USB or an XLR microphone to utilize to go with your headset. But if you were to use it by itself, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not crazy about it, but yeah, this right here, I highly recommend. I love it. And, uh, I, maybe I think one other thing, I guess if I were to, to, um, talk about one other thing I think would be cool is I like that it does have the green pulsating color on the sides when you have it using uh USB type C into your computer. I kind of wish I could, you know, change out the colors, but I understand it's kind of with the branding cause this is black and green and then pulsating green. I get it. But, uh, other than that, amazing pair of cans, highly recommend them. And I think if you were to be in the market for a new pair of cans, this is probably what you want to get. And they're frequently on sale too, usually $69 a USD and down from what they normally are, which is a hundred. So a premium product at a budget friendly price that sounds just as good as anything Razer has out there. But that's my opinion. That's the review for the Star Engine E5000 Pro. I absolutely love this. Again, mahalo to EXA for sending this over to me. But at this point, I want to know what you guys think. Have you tried the EXA, the Star Engine E5000 Pro? Yes, that's a mouthful. Have you tried these? Are these some that you've had on your, you know, maybe I need to pick these up and try these out. Is, you know, whatever your thoughts are, let's go ahead and get the conversation going in the comment section below. And I'll include a link in the description if you want to pick these up. So yeah, th these are amazing. Outside of that, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support further, we do have channel memberships as well as Patreon over on patreon.com slash Mikhail Casanova. And we also have merch on Teespring and Teepolic if you want to get some cool swag too. So check those out. All that being said, I need to get back to doing some more videos and editing. And I also need to get my stream going. And this is going to be the headphone I'm going to be using. And I'd like to see you guys over on twitch.tv slash Mikhail Casanova. All that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay blessed, and uh, have a good one. Peace. Mahalo for your time. Before. If you found this episode to be incredibly enjoyable, informative, or if there's anything you gain from it or any uh, insight or, you know, anything that's good that you really, really enjoy, make sure whatever platform you're listening to it on, or if you're watching it, leave a comment if that's available on the platform, like it, share it around with someone you think would enjoy it, and give us some feedback because your feedback is exactly what we need to keep this show going. And if you're wondering what are some ways that you could support the show we got various ways we've got patreon we have channel memberships over on youtube as well as subscribe star coffee and so much more links for everything will be in the description check that out and with all that being said i hope you have an aloha rest of your day let them know that i'm next level i'm a whole new kind of guy
is at the top spot in case you forgot. We the ones that got the block hot, bullet got the shot.